the Kenny Dam, and beer. And leaving Vanderhoof. David's gonna come with me down to the, he's gonna drive his car down to the Kenny Dam. Still gotta fuel up and grab some grub, but yeah, it's been a nice day. Expensive with all the digital catastrophes, but. Kenny Dam. Stony Creek. Just onto the gravel, 18 clicks out of town. Site. That is the Nachaco River. This is Cutoff Creek Reg Site. Kenny Dam is a rock-filled embankment dam on the Nechaco River, which forms the Nechaco Reservoir, also known as Utsa Lake. After the Second World War, the Canadian government invited the Aluminum Company of Canada, also known as Alcan, to explore various sites around the country for hydroelectric power generation, as cheap electricity is one of the most essential parts of aluminum production. Construction of the dam and its associated powerhouse at Kamano and the town of Kitimat and aluminum smelter began in 1951 and continued until 1967, although the dam became operational in 1954. Kenny Dam is a rock-filled clay cord dam, 97 meters high and 457 meters wide at the top, with construction using over 3 million cubic meters of material. The Nechaco Reservoir took four years to fill, flooding a series of lakes and a total area of 92,000 hectares, during which there was no flow running from the Nechaco Reservoir for 50 miles between the dam and the Notley River. The fish trapped in this section of river died and local animals that relied on that section of the river were forced to migrate. The Murray Dam and Skins Spillway were constructed across the Cheslata River to help cool water temperatures in the upper Nechaco River to minimize the impact on salmon spawning. This flooded the traditional lands of the Cheslata Ta'en people who had lived here for at least 10,000 years. Approximately 200 Cheslata people were forced to relocate to scattered villages on marginal land. Villages were demolished and burned prior to the flooding, with most of the families unable to return to collect their belongings. As water levels rose, coffins and skeletons from their traditional grave sites were washed away. This uh, FSR that crosses, crosses over here is kind of boring. It's, it's all Farm. Right, David's still with me. This is a long haul across here, but it's three o'clock, so we'll start looking for a wreck site. We took a cutoff here that cuts off a big loop because it was uh, going on forever. It wasn't terribly pretty. And it said brewery with an arrow pointing this way. That was probably the clincher. David and I are still following signs that say brewery. <laughs> and it's got us onto a fairly small FSR here, but it connects back to the main one that we were on before.
We just followed the signs that said brewery. <laughs> Which way? Which way? Oh, cool. Excellent. Okay, cool. Beautiful day. Ain't it good? Oh, it's got to be like, you know, like just the randomness of this. I think it's just cool. Right? Uh -huh. it's a yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just amazing. Like, that's part of the Nataco, I think, in there. The reservoir. Friendly people and good beer. It's totally unexpected. The brewmaster was telling us that his family was flooded out of here when they did the uh, Kenny Dam. So it's kind of cool that he's back here with this little brewery. So this is the spillway that they use to add flow to the Nachaco and bring the temperature down. Very cool. Beautiful, eh? I uh, can't find too much to bitch about. I'm gonna go back and find one that has some trees to string the tarp. Okay, so that's one thing. Yeah. Yeah, this is a little too open for me with those clouds. I'd like to have a tarp. Yeah, all backed up, heading up towards Burns Lake. This is Cougar Ranch. Takasi, Takasi Lake. South side. Thanks. Francois Lake. Burns 
Lake. Great little coffee shop in Burns Lake. Paramount Coffee House. Wonderful.